my name is jitendra bafna in today's video we are going to see how to create a auto launch flow in the sales force so we have already seen how to create a screen flow then we have seen how to create a record triggered flow now we will create a auto launch flow so what does auto launch flow means in auto launch flow there is a no trigger right so if you want to trigger the auto launch it can be triggered by a apex code it can be triggered by a rest api so you can make use of the rest api to trigger a auto launch flow it can be triggered via some other uh, other flow right so in this particular example we will create one screen flow and we will create one auto launch flow and from screen flow we will going to trigger a auto launch flow right and there are various other options like you can also trigger a auto launch flow from the flow orchestration so let's start creating a auto launch flow so what we want to do we want to a uh, create a account basically right in the account object so we will create auto launch flow that will take two inputs or let's consider it will take three inputs phone right it will take phone then it will take input as a, a account account name then what kind of interest is is like you no know, so those are the things uh, uh, this particular account auto launch uh, flow will take as a input okay so let me start with creating a new flow so i will just start from scratch i will just say next then i will use there are multiple option you can search for auto launch no trigger right as i mentioned launch when invoked by apex process rest api mode so it basically runs in the background just say create right so i have start created my auto launch flow you can see is like this i will create some variable first so you can click here and just say new resources i will create a variable and i will just say account name Okay, I will use the camel case here. Then data type I can select as a text, and it should be available for input. That's it. So I create account name. Now I will create a industry variable industry industry right. And again I will take the data type as a text. This is again available for input. Then I will declare one more variable which is known as a phone. select data type again text i will just say available for input if you want to put give some default value you can do it so input means like uh, whenever anybody want to use this flow this particular three fields must be available for input you are not checking this checkbox then this field will be not visible in the other flow as a input done so i created this now i will just say i want to create a account right so i will just search for create record component so this is my create record component right i will just label it create account record then here i will just set manually and select the type as a account and let me do the mapping so account name is the field in the salesforce account object and i have to map with the account name variable let consider industry also is there let's search for industry i have to map with field called industry so this is my like uh, global not global variable simple variables so industry next is phone search for phone right account phone and i can simply search for again simple variables call phone so these are the three input variable which we have defined and we have just map with the salesforce fields a salesforce account object field that's it and now you can save this here i can say account i will just name the flow account creation auto launch flow you can provide some kind of description and it will automatically create the api name for you in advance like you know you can just define some kind of trigger or, but it's no trigger flow right just i will say auto launch equals to no flow no trigger just save it okay so let me check there is some kind of error is there let me save this save Okay, so just rename this auto launch flow demo, and I will just put demo like that. Okay, so just I want to rename it, save it. Okay, so my auto launch flow is ready. If you if you want to test it, you can do that. Just I will just say run. But yeah, you cannot do that because it has to be called by someone, right? So you can debug 
or you can uh, use it but let's see what we will do we will try to call this flow from other flow so for that you need to activate this particular flow okay make sure you can you activate this particular flow so i will just activate it okay so now i will create another flow which is known as a screen flow and that screen flow will call this particular flow and it will also uh, provide all input data so let me go back to my flows I will just say new scratch from scratch and screen flow create okay now I will just add a screen okay in screen flow I just want to collect the account name okay so I'll just put account name as my label and it's required then I want to show the pick list so if you see the industry in account object is a pick list right so i will also use the pick list and i'll just give name as a, a label as a industry then i have to select uh, something called account pick list and i have to like provide the value in the pick list right so i can read those value from the account object industry field right so for that i can create a variable or you can just click yes and just say new choice resource under select you can select the record a uh, pick list choice set okay then you can select uh, industry industry's choice okay you selected that then under the object you need to select the account because the industry fees is available in the account object select the data type pick list and what is the field like i have to read the pick list from the industry right so industry is a pick list in the account object so it have a multiple value so it can be like you know when user will select from the screen he can see all these uh, values in the pick list in, in the industry pick list just say done simple the next thing i have to again provide one text correct i can drag and drop i can just collect the phone number okay and you may have to give the name to this for no account creation screen just say done now i have to create i i have to call this particular sub flow right because i i already have a logic i have already have a logic like this okay i already have a logic ex exist uh you know uh, in the auto launch flow so as i mentioned auto launch flow doesn't have any trigger it can be triggered from some other flows so for that i will use the sub not here sorry i have to go back to my uh, that other flow right so i will go back to the screen flow where i can use search for sub flow okay under sub flow i will search for account creation auto launch flow and i need to search for demo one so demo account creation auto launch flow okay so i can just say call account creation flow that's it and here you have to provide the input values right account name so it is expecting like account name industry is the phone like if you see the auto launch have this three particular variable right so now these variables are visible in the screen flow right because we have developed uh, we have ticked the uh, checkbox like available for input right just include this and collect the account name so we from where we will get account name from the screen right screen just say account account name just include the industry from where again industry will get from the screen industry just say phone from where we will get the phone the phone will be again getting from the screen simple so we have completed our configuration so we have called this particular sub flow other sub flow we have called the auto launch flow and we have we have just done the mapping right now so just save this and i can say demo account creation auto launch flow just save it now now try to debug this run i will give just account name as a mule demo account you can see you can see all this particular choice of pick list has been populated properly i will just say banking i can just say phone number is something like this 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 just say next Okay, so you can see here you can see like you know 
so here you can see the result so you get this particular id back so this account is successfully created correct the record is ready to create it when next so uh, so let let's see if account is created or not so let me refresh this page so you can see mule demo account is created with phone number this just open this just say details right so here you can see mule demo okay and this is phone number and we gave the industry the banking right so you can see all data has been properly mapped so so it's very easy so in case like if you want to run it on production or like in your environment you can simply save it and activate it basically as simple as that so it's very simple what we have done the first thing we have created auto launch flow so in auto launch flow like we have a three variables account name industries phone right and then we have used the create record component so that will going to create a record in the account object right so that is like we can edit and see that we have done some kind of mapping okay once and we have activated this particular flow later we have created another flow which is screen flow we are collecting account name industry and the phone number from the screen right and then we are calling uh, using the subflow component and calling the auto launch flow right and as soon as we just uh, select that auto launch flow it will show all the input uh, uh, input values or input variable expected by the auto launch flow and we will map with the right uh, value which have we have collected from the screen right so that is how you can create an auto launch flow right and like you can create any other flow like screen flow or maybe other uh, record trigger flow to call the auto launch flow you can also call the auto launch flow from the apex classes you can also call the auto launch from via rest api call maybe if you want to call the auto launch flow uh, from the mules of composer you can make use of the rest apis right so it provides a uh, http endpoint you can make use of that http endpoint to trigger the auto launch flow this one right we will see in upcoming uh, videos like how we can call the auto launch flow using the rest api i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching